All right, welcome back and to part 28 and whoa. Um, uh, we're going to continue on the uh, Twitter clone. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel and like this video and uh, let's get started. So in the last video, what we did was we modeled the, um, the reply tweets so that they are like related. So the tweet has basically child slash reply tweets and a tweet, if it's a reply tweet, it also has a parent. Um, so uh, we model that in the back end, and now we're going to uh, let people actually reply. So one little thing I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna do differently from uh, the actual Twitter is here in, um, Twitter, actual real Twitter. If you click the reply button, um, this modal pops up and you can reply from here if you're from the dashboard. And if you're in the uh, tweet page, uh, you can reply here. Um, so I could spend time uh, making this modal thing work, but for the sake of uh, efficiency, uh, we're just gonna be able to, we're just gonna make it so that people reply from the actual tweet page. So what we're gonna do is uh, when the user clicks this reply button from the dashboard, I want them to get redirected to the tweet page. So let's uh, get that set up first. So I'm gonna open up a tweet partial wherever it was. Right here. And for the replies, um, the link is already set up, which is good. I didn't know that I already had it set up, but good. So here, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this um, tweet reply, this reply button here. I'm gonna add that form. And let's see. The way we add that is I'm going to add this shared tweet form or maybe it won't be the shared tweet form. Maybe it'll be the, um, maybe me, I think we'll have to add a separate partial, but we'll see. We'll add it. here down here and I think I think it looks okay, except it looks a little off because this form doesn't have my user's um, a profile picture. So if you look at the actual Twitter, the form has a user's actual profile picture. So let me add that real quick in the shared tweet form. So the way we do that is we make this into a flex box. Like this. Um, and I'm gonna put the form in its own div. And the profile picture in the flex shrink zero class and the form, the, 
the, f the div that contains the form will get a flex grow of one and margin start of zero. And I'm gonna have to change up the partial a little bit. So, for the image tag, we're gonna get the current user's avatar like that. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, and for the tweet, we actually have to change up our partial a little bit. So when we render the form like this, and also right here, depending on where we are tweeting from, for tweeting from the dashboard, or at least like from the profile page, which we will be building later, um, the button, well, I guess not. For tweeting from the dashboard and from the tweet model, the submit button should say tweet. Uh, but if we're tweeting from a tweet page, the button should say reply. So what I want to do is I want to pass in, um, say, like local variables. One is called button message or button label. And I like from here, from the show page, I want it to be reply. But from the dashboard, I want this to be um, tweet. And from the model, which is right here, I want it also to for the button label to be tweet. And in the tweet form, I'm gonna render button label like this. And here now it says reply from the home page, it will say tweet. From the modal, it will, it will say tweet as well. And now we're gonna go into the uh, tweet page. And the next thing that we wanna do is um, we wanna pass in another variable and we'll say uh, form submit path and from the show page we'll leave this empty for now but from the sidebar it'll be tweets path and from the dashboard it'll be a uh, tweets path as well like this and from the tweet form, we'll, we'll have to add uh, we'll have to add resources. resources reply no hold on and uh, tweets resources reply tweets and will only be creating and destroying no it will only be creating And the route for that will be tweet reply tweets path and here will be tweet reply tweets path tweet presenter tweet and 
and now I'm going to create a controller. I'm gonna say tweet. No, it'll be it'll be um, reply tweets controller. Tweet, reply, tweets, create. Um, well, here it's um, we need tweet params. Params. Dot. And we want to say tweet params. Want to create the tweet here, and after that, uh, we want to say if tweet dot save. Do the same thing that we do when we create the the tweet. By the way, the reason that we have a separate controller, even though the code's pretty much the same, is because here we're, we're um, getting the uh, tweet ID, um, while here we're creating an actual just tweet by itself. Um, yeah, you could try to combine it and have an if statement checking for whether the tweet ID is coming in, but uh, I always found it better if you separate the controllers out to avoid having too many conditionals in a controller. So that's my personal preference, um, but I've seen code bases that have a lot of conditionals and controller methods. All right, so now gonna have a reply tweets here, and I'm gonna have Create that turbo stream dot erb, and I'm gonna do the same thing that I'm gonna do the same thing um, that we did in other create turbo stream callbacks, except the partial will always be tweets tweet. And here we're gonna target DOM ID tweet like that. And we're gonna create a spec file. And here, we don't need the show method here. And I'm not gonna test for when they're not signed in. At this point, it's kind of done in other places. And um, the post will be reply tweets path. I think it was tweet reply tweets path. 
and I actually need a parent tweet. I say parent tweet. I have to pass in parent tweet here, and um, I'm gonna run this spec. And it fails. Ah. Here I'm gonna say um, if current user dot avatar is present, ideally this should be a presenter, but I'm gonna keep it like this for now. see if um, see what that looks like I think that'll make it pass yeah so reply tweet specs is failing And it looks like it's because Creed is missing a template for this, which um, which I don't understand. Give me a sec, because we're um, we're actually redirecting. Rails routes. I don't understand. And tweet params tweet. Yeah, it's because I'm not merging in the parent tweet. Hold on, no, that's not it. Let's actually put a binding pry in here and see what see why it's breaking. Yeah, the, the user's missing. So I have to merge in the current user here and it will work this time. Yep. Now I'm going to get rid of binding pry, see what that looks like. And now if I run our spec, everything should pass. And okay. Let's check from the console 
whether the tweets are being created. So let's say first reply tweet as a test. And it is, it looks like the tweet count is going up, so it's working. And, but it looks like the last tweet doesn't have the parent tweet ID um, set, which is an issue. So we'll say this will be tweet create merge in parent tweet as tweet here. So let's see. I'm going to delete the last tweet. And I want to see new reply tweet. Looks like the parent tweet ID isn't being saved. Maybe I have to target the tweet ID like this. Still not being saved. Huh. Oh, I know what it is. It's going to the tweets controller. So this reply form, I think what's happening, yeah, I, I forgot to do this. So here, the tweets path, uh, where is it? We have to pass in form submit path um, so that this tweet reply tweets path gets actually um, set as the URL, the form submission URL. Same here and same for the dashboard. Yep. Now let's go back to the reply tweets controller and um, let's do tweet reply tweets, create, and see what this looks like. And that's working. And let's actually run the specs again. and everything is working. All right, um, I'm gonna stop the video here. Uh, and in the next video, I'm just gonna start rendering uh, the reply tweets and also show how it is dynamically updating via uh, turbo form submission. So um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.